welcome to our channel. This is my mom and I'm Eliana. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to our channel. She's been wanting us on a YouTube channel for like ever, actually. I walk in on her recording videos on her iPad like it's her job. Um, but we're gonna start up a channel to kind of share with you uh, everything that, you know, <laughs> we're about as a family. Um, at by 22, I was married, divorced, had two kids, and became a landlord and decided to go back to nursing school on top of all that. And I look back and I wonder how somebody could go through everything um, that not only I've been through, but my little minis here. And, you know, in my personal situation, uh, the only thing that got me through everything would be the grace of God, because I look back and I'm just like, oh my God, like, how did I not run away, basically? Uh, so, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Come on, you do this every day on your iPad. Six. When's your birthday? September 25th, and my birthday's almost up. Um, I have a little baby sister. She's at daycare today. <laughs> um, I'm hanging out with my mommy today. Because what? It's summer. It's summer. And, um... We're going to my mom's house today, and um, that's really it for me. So, to start off with uh, my journey, I guess, I was uh, 15 in high school when I got pregnant with her. That one. <laughs> And side note, she's like, I'm wearing my heels in this video because I want people to see my heels. And, uh, you know, she got all dressed up in cheetah specifically for this video. And uh, she's really taking this professionally. <laughs> and I said, uh, hun, we're not really gonna be doing anything in this video, but kind of introducing ourselves. She went, well, I don't care, I'm wearing my heels. So I was um, 15 when I got pregnant. I was 16 when I gave birth. Um, my class in high school was so awesome. They were so supportive. You know, the, the first thing I thought of when I was pregnant was that I was gonna be um, tormented, basically. Um, not saying that I wasn't, you know, a big talk in the school uh, because anybody who kind of, you know, gets pregnant like that in, a, in high school, um, it kind of shocks everybody. And I grew up in a really small town, um, and it was something that I wasn't proud of until I succeeded at being a mom. Then I became very proud of the situation that I was in. I never regretted it, but there are times where I look at my life and I, you know, I get the wrong thoughts in my head like you know if I didn't have kids I could have been in a four-year university college away and you know I could have been doing this and this and traveling and I would have had more money and all these things and um, not that those thoughts aren't real because they're absolutely real but I look at my kids and I'm like oh my gosh if I didn't have them I wouldn't be where I'm at today and who knows maybe I could have gone down the wrong path and I really wouldn't have been at a four-year university, you know, college. And those things don't even matter. You know, um, I guess I selfishly, I would have wanted to do that just to kind of experience the dorm life and the party life that I missed out on. But, you know, I, I look at my days and, you know, I'm going to be doing days in the life videos. And if I didn't have a house to take care of and a family to clean and cook for and run these errands with these kids with their with school and daycare and her camps and um she's gonna be in dance this fall i don't know what i will be doing i would be so bored i'm gonna get distracted a million times by her So I, um, me and her dad split up after I had her and um, we had a really bad relationship. Um, 
not to blame on me or to blame on him. We were both young. Um, you know, we came from different style families. Uh, so the way that he was raised and the way that I was raised didn't mesh and we were still young and living at home with our parents. So there was just a lot of conflict and issues and, um, you know, it was hard uh, for us to adjust to being parents, especially co-parenting together. You know, she was the easiest baby to raise in the end though. She like, I mean, she had colic, but she wasn't anything difficult. She was a sweetheart and easy. And um, so I got through high school, thank you to my parents, because if, you know, they didn't do everything they did for me while I was in high school, I probably wouldn't have graduated. Um, so shortly after I graduated, I was 19 and I got pregnant with her dad again. Um, we ended up getting back together for a short period and we got pregnant with our second daughter, who's two and she's at daycare right now. And her name is, go ahead, tell them there. And her name is Raylan. Raylan. And we decided to get married when I was pregnant um, just because for the wrong reasons, I guess we figured that, you know, it was our second kid together, we might as well get married. Typical. So we did, and it lasted about three weeks because again, it was for the wrong reasons. And I think, um, you know, we were both just scared and we were adjusting to, um, you know, living on our own for the first time together. And I was pregnant and I had her and I was trying to work and just the struggle of finances and everything just got the best of our marriage and we um, parted ways and a year later got divorced. Now, that may be embarrassing for me to share, but it's the reality of the situation that we were in and having kids at a young age and not being ready exactly. After all that happened, I had to take full control of my life and for my children so that Oh, thank you, Mom. None of the three of us um, ended up in a situation that we could not support ourselves and have anywhere else to live or anything of the such. Just you have to think of the worst case scenario. And so I bought my first home with my dad's help. Um, it was a little townhouse in the same town that we were already living in and I grew up in. And it was... I mean, an amazing home, absolutely amazing. And it was just, it was small and just enough, you know, not too much for me to clean. New backyard, which kind of stunk, but um, there's parks and things like that. And my parents have a nice sized yard and they were like two streets away. Um, but another year later, um, I was with my boyfriend for um, a year and we decided to get a home together. Um, this is the home because um, just of convenience reasons and I was not able to really afford my townhouse anymore and um, yes we could have stayed there but we did kind of want something bigger because the kids had one bedroom and they were sharing no playroom and it was a little bit tight um, in our bedroom with all the toys yes with all the toys so but it was okay right we made it work yeah I became the landlord of my townhouse um, I have an awesome renter in there right now um, you know so I'm not making any money off of my town home it's just simply paying the mortgage but um, it's kind of cool saying that I am a landlord and that was by I was uh, 22 when that uh, took place so it's kind of cool uh, being a landlord and my dad he does the whole maintenance thing that ain't me i went back to school for nursing um i am accepted into a nursing program but i don't start the actual program until fall of 2019 so i have one more semester of my prerequisite classes to do in the fall um and i'm really excited about that i work at a hospital right now um i guess you could say part-time some weeks full-time other weeks i'm per diem so i make my own schedule so it works great with the kids um she is out of school right now and she does camp so we're going to be doing a lot of videos throughout the summer we hope that everybody will come back watch our channel because we're going to have some good stuff in store um my other daughter she's a riot she is like she owns the show i mean she thinks that she literally owns the show like she like owns the house 
Yes, it's gonna be a fun time. Um, we're gonna make some, she's gonna make some slime videos uh, because she, you know, I gotta allow her to have her time on here. I'm gonna be doing cleaning videos, um, day in the life. So you can kind of see how it is being 22 with two kids, um, you know, taking care of a home, cooking, going to school, you know, just everything. It can be a lot. YouTube is something that I've wanted to do for a while, but I felt like I was just so awkward on camera. I tried before, but I was like super embarrassed. And this was like two years ago, or longer than two years actually. It was like three years almost because I was pregnant with me, with my daughter, my second daughter. Not you, silly. And we did them together, but it didn't last long because I felt like I was so awkward and I wasn't prepared. And I just, I don't know, I just felt like I was just embarrassing myself. Um, but now it's gotten to the point where I want to be able to share my story. I want to kind of be um, a spokesperson for young moms and be able to have people, you know, kind of be like, okay, like she's going through it too, because that's how I am. Like, I love watching videos of people cleaning their house because I don't, I hate cleaning my house. Like, I like it, but I also hate it. So I'll go and watch other people cleaning their house for motivation to be like, all right, she just did it. Now I'm, I can do it. And I like to get different ideas too. Like for example, cleaning the baseboards, I watched a video and she put a rag on a broomstick and it was just like, they were clean. I would have never thought of that. I like to watch slime videos. And in the house, I like to do slime videos. But my mommy doesn't like me doing that. <laughs> okay, for real, what mom likes when their kid makes slime in their house and it gets all over the place? For real. Please subscribe, um, like the video. Comment down below. You can comment below and kind of give me ideas of what you would like for me to show you um, or share with you. And I will probably do a part two to this video to introduce my crazy second daughter, um, you know, very shortly. So just make sure you subscribe, turn on your bell so you get notifications for our videos. If you guys kind of see my face out of the way. <laughs> Do you want to uh, close the video out? Comment down below if you like this video. Subscribe. Turn on your bell. And give us a big thumbs up. Bye.